Put your faith in the light. Hello guys, welcome to another one of my videos. This is Lightweight. Well guys, in this video, I wanted to talk about a hot topic that a lot of attribution partners asked me in the last uh, stream. And this is trinkets. So you guys are curious on what are the best trinkets for Mythic Plus for Retribution Paladins. So in this video, I'm going to answer that that question. And I'm going to divide this in two, par in two parts. The first one is unused trinkets and the second part is uh, passive trinkets. Because I consider the best balance for a Red Paladin is to have one of each, you know? Okay, now let's go to the first part. Okay guys, so this part we will divide it in three categories. The first one is best in slot for mythic plus on use. So we're just going to go to the point. The best trinket you can get is the overwhelming power crystal. This trinket is really strong because it's really reliable. You get what you see. The trinket will give you a ton of critical strike uh, for 15 seconds on a one and a half minute cooldown and that's it. It doesn't rely on any gimmicks. It doesn't do anything weird. You don't have to do anything to get this crit. You will always get it. It also has really good synergy with our wings and with our relic. So it has an, a one and a minute, one and a half minute cooldown. Our wings is a two minute cooldown, but with Ur, it will be reduced by 30 seconds. So the trinket matches exactly our wings. So you can macro it with it and you will always have it up when you use them. Other than that, it's a pretty easy to get trinket from dungeons. Well, easy ish, you know, because it drops from the other side. And it, it, it took me like 32 runs to get it, but I did get it. So if you have the time to spend in it, you can just spam dungeons to get this drink. Now let's go to the next category. So in this one, I have two trinkets in strong but hard to use. So these two trinkets are very similar and they are powerful, but really have a lot of downsides. So the first one is the first sigil. So this trinket gives you strength. It also gives you, when you use it, a ton of versatility for 20 seconds, but it has a really long cooldown of 5 minutes. So this trinket, first of all, needs setup to be used. So you can't just use it whenever, because if you use it on, a, let's say, on a 2-pack or something like small, you don't get all its value, you know, because you want to use it on something huge. You want to use it on a big pack, or you want to use it on, like, a tyrannical boss to get as much value as you can, because after you use it, you, that slot is going to become just a, a strength stat stick. So uh, the long cooldown, like I said before, that long cooldown is really punishing because not many keys are that long. You know, most keys are an average of 20, 25 minutes. So you are going to get four to maybe five uses in the longest keys, you know. But because of that, you have to like think where to use it really, really well. It's also really hard to get because it's also a raid drop. You can do raid, raid on four difficulties, but you uh, most normal people won't be farming mythic, let's say, and you don't want it from NFR because it's too low item level. So you effectively have two uh, chances to get it on normal and heroic for most normal people, you know. Uh, also, it's really punishing to misuse. So if something happens and you use this first sigil, like I said before, it's just going to become a stat stick. Let's say you pull, the tank dies, you use cooldowns, basically that slot, your trinket slot is zero, you know, you're not getting any value out of it for five minutes. So really punishing if misused. The next trinket on this category is Inscrutable Quantum Device. This trinket is really popular on many classes like Druids and Hunters, but for Retribution Paladins, it has its uses, but I consider it really unreliable to use. Especially in Mythic Plus where there's a lot of things happening and sometimes you can't like track what everyone's doing. There's a lot of weak auras that help you with using this trinket perfectly, but even then, it can backfire. So the trinket has a ton of effects. There are, it can give mana to your healer if his mana is low. It can heal someone. It can attempt to execute your target if they are low. It can remove crowd control from you. And the effect that you really want is the stats. So it gives a ton of stats. Uh, but even when that happens, that can also backfire because it takes in consideration your two highest stats. So for red balance, that would be mastery and haste. And you really want the mastery pro. You don't want the haste because a ton of haste isn't that powerful. But a ton of mastery, that's going to hit like a truck. So even when it goes well, it can go bad. So you know, this trinket is really unreliable. 
Okay, so another thing its cooldown doesn't really synergize well with Retribution Paladin and with our 2 minute build because this thing has a 3 minute build, uh, cooldown. So you normally want to always tie it up with our wings. And uh, even though it can match with like every second wing, that would require your group to kill two Urs in a row. So you could get this thing uh, tied with your wings, which is not most not going to happen like often. Especially in pugs, if you don't have like a reliable group to go with, some people will kill the buy relic, some people will kill the woe relic, some, uh, and sometimes it's random because people just AoE like crazy and something dies. So you might not be able to tie that with your wings, uh, which is not the case like for the crystal, the like Kerbestan slot uh, trinket, the overwhelming power crystal, because that has a one and a half minute cooldown. So even though if you miss an Ur, you will still only have to wait 30 seconds and you will have it for your wings. Uh, the inscrutable quantum device doesn't have that benefit. Another thing is that it's very punishing when, when misused. Because the, even, at least the first sigil, you will get the versatility for 20 seconds. If you misuse the quantum device, you may get nothing. You may just heal your someone or like do 10k damage to a mob or it's really 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 punishing if you misuse it because it's a three minute cooldown it's pretty long it's longish you know and for those three minutes your trinket slot becomes just a stat stick of strength that's why i put inscrutable content device in strong but really hard to use now let's go to the next last part here on on use trinkets and this is for our badge and i named this part decent poor man's choice because the good old badge it was with it was with us for two seasons it was the, our best in slot trinket because we used the two the one minute build and this trinket is a one minute cooldown trinket so it was really reliable and it's still reliable now because uh, you can tie it up with your wings and you can use it whenever it's off cooldown between your wing cooldowns you know even though we don't have like a one minute powerful burst now because uh, most of our abilities will be about 40 seconds 45 ish seconds you can just use this thing whenever it's up to get the strength you know and so that's why i put it at poor man's choice because if you don't have any other trinket get the badge you will still get some value it's reliable you get what you see you see strength you're gonna get strength 15 seconds it does it did lose a lot of synergy like i said with the new build since we're going for a two minute build and our other cooldowns are just small 40 45 seconds it, it has the benefit of being really easy to get you can go and just pvp just get some conquest and buy the thing it it has also a bad side because Ur Relic desyncs it from our cooldown. So when you use an Ur Relic, our wings become a one and a half minute cooldown. So you have to track it manually. You can't like uh, bind it to your wings or bind it to your, let's say, Divine Toll to use it. Because if you are using it, you really want it to be up when wings are up. So, but you also want, it, want to use it on cooldown. So Ur Relic can desync it from our main wings cooldown. So guys, those are our options for unused trinkets. Now let's go to the next one and go for passive trinkets. Okay guys, so for the passive uh, trinket slots for Red Paladins, we have a special case and this is the Old Warrior Soul. This trinket from the last patch is extremely overpowered because it has a ton of stats. It gives strength as its main, but the effect makes it so you can get stacks of haste every 20 seconds, stacking five times. It, on the 259 version, you will have over 200 stats just coming from this trinket of haste. So this trinket, if you have it at mythic item level, will last you for the rest of the patch unless they buff some other trinket, you know? Uh, this trinket, the only downside is that it's really hard to get at the moment because it's, uh, if you want the max item level version, that drops from Mythic Sylvanas, which not many people are doing at the moment, you know? Most people are just doing the new raid and just getting stuff from there. So we got other options that you can use for Mythic Plus Dungeons. Uh, the one that I'm personally going for is the Elegy of the Eternals. So this is my first pick as a, uh, of a trinket because I'm not going to farm the old warrior soul. It's really annoying to do Mythic Sylvanas and I don't think I will. I could get a group to do it, you know? So the Elegy is really strong. It has lots of stats. It has a neat benefit of giving 10% of uh, the secondary stat of the, your highest secondary stat to everyone in your group that is the same covenant. 
So if you covenant stack, it can make it even stronger, you know? The only other problem is that it's hard to get because it's a raid drop and raid drops are limited weekly because we can only do uh, LFR, normal, heroic, and mythic, you know. And not many people will be doing mythic. Most people will be doing just heroic and normal. So you only have a few shots to get this trinket every week. Our next best option would be the Solius Secret Technique. This trinket is similar to the Elegy of the Eternals. You select a player from your party or raid and you give them a in you grant them their highest secondary stats and you get the same stat as well for 30 minutes. The good thing about this trinket is that you can pick the stat because you can ask the people in your group uh, what stats is their highest. And let's say you want crit, you get crit. You want master, you pick someone with high master. This can also be a negative side because maybe you want a specific stat and your group doesn't have it. So you will have to like confirm with other stats. It is easy to get because it's farmable. It comes from a dungeon. You can just spam a Gambit, the new Tassabesh wing in Mythic Plus. And it, it's a decent stat gain. It's similar to the Elegy of the Eternals. And you have this small boost to other people. Well, the other person that you select in your in your group, you will get a small amount of uh, their highest secondary stat, which is really nice. Other good trinkets uh, are the file of fortification. This one is really especially good for tyrannical because it deals nice dot damage. The damage is reliable, which is really good for any trinket. The, the only problem with this trinket is that it loses value in AoE. So I wouldn't use this trinket, for example, in fortified weeks because it, you, you're better off just getting a, a stat stick for that, like a Solia Secret Technique or the Elegy of the Eternals. Uh, also, this trinket has the, the same benefit as Solia's Secret Technique that it's farmable. It comes from Plague Ball, which is a pretty short dungeon if you're doing it correctly. Uh, although I really don't like that place. Anyway, it's a pretty nice trinket to get. The last option that is also really decent is the Cosmic Gladiator's Insignia of our Alcarty. So this thing is from PvP. It, it costs 700 Conquests and it has a really decent proc rate. The thing has a 40% uptime, which is really, really strong on the strength and the main stat. It lasts for 20 seconds, so the proc is pretty decently long. It gives you haste as its passive stat and it's pretty easy to get since it's pvp you only have to like do twos or threes and win some maybe lose some and you will get it eventually with some conquest and the stats like i said before are really decent for procs so guys those are the trinket options that you can get as retribution paladins for mythic plus dungeons i didn't mention other trinkets for example a lot of uh, trinkets that do on hit damage because they are really not good for red paladins on hit damage trinkets other than the file of petrification for red paladins aren't good because we stacked a ton of mastery for mythic plus dungeons and mastery doesn't give any benefit to on hit effects it only benefits our abilities so i just omitted any trinket that does that and i you can also notice that i omitted a lot of trinkets from the raid like unused trinkets from raid because they're mostly garbage you know i don't know what's the problem with trinkets on the raid they made them so bad uh, they some of them really need a buff or, or are really gimmicky to use so in theory are good but actually you can't use them effectively you know so guys that's the video i hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you guys and if you like the, the video subscribe to the channel it helps me a lot thanks for watching everyone